really important question because in the ketogenic world, you often hear people say the words that there, there's no essential carbohydrate. And the reason they say this is because our livers, the human liver is capable of manufacturing and secreting glucose, either from breaking down glycogen or by manufacturing glucose from other precursors. So as a result of that, they will say, look, there are essential amino acids, there are essential fatty acids, but technically speaking, there's no essential carbohydrate. Therefore, don't eat carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is bad for you. So, the, you know, according to your definition of essential, you basically said it has to have two things. Number one, it cannot be manufactured by the human body. And number two, it has to serve an important physiological function. So the question then for, comes for you is, is dietary carbohydrate considered essential or non-essential? Can you help clear this up a little bit? Yeah, so that's a perfect example of some of the misinformation out there that I was talking about that can head people down uh, the wrong path. There's 20 basic amino acids, and, and depending on if histidine is essential or not, eight or nine of those are essential. The other 11 or 12 are not essential. I do not know of any source of protein that only contains the essential amino acids and does not have the non-essential amino acids. So if their argument is carbohydrates are not essential, therefore they're bad for you, therefore you shouldn't eat them, that's a heck of a stretch. Then if you take that same logic, you would say you should never, you, the only protein you should ever eat is isolated protein supplements that only contain the essential amino acids and do not contain the non-essential amino acids. Because Real whole food protein sources contain non-essential amino acids. And if they're non-essential, then they must be bad for you, right? And you shouldn't eat them. How much sense does that make? You know, you shouldn't eat flax seeds because they contain essential amino acids, but they also contain non-essential amino acids. I mean, so this argument that just because something is non-essential means it's bad for you is, is, is foolish. There are many nutrients that are non-essential. So for example, lycopene, that comes up in the, in the raw food world. They think you can't get it from raw food, which is complete nonsense. But let's just use that as an example off the top of my head. It's not an essential nutrient, but it's really good for you. It's a great phytonutrient, has lots of excellent antioxidant properties. So again, non-essential, but it's actually really good for you. So the bottom line, again, is just because something isn't essential does not mean it's bad for you. And if all you did was eat protein and fat, you're going to become insulin resistant. You're not going to feel healthy. And I'll tell you what, folks, try it out for yourself. Eat enough calories worth of fruits and vegetables for a week and see how you feel and then stop all fruits and vegetables and eat only nuts and seeds and meat and oil for a week and see how you feel. My guess is after one day, you're gonna have your answer.